For number 10, it says we have 25 rectangular plots. So 25, and the area of each plot, or the length, the dimensions are, so 25 times the length and the width, because that's the area, 4 yards times 10 yards. The area of a rectangle is length times width, and we have 25 of them. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, uh, the product of these, let's see, 25, uh, or excuse me, 4 times 25 is 100, and times 10, and yards times yards is yards squared, and that's going to be 1,000 square yards, and we've got that one. So for 11, we're told a car is driving 180 miles per hour. We need to convert that to miles per minute. So that means we have to convert hours to minutes. Okay. Well, uh, we know this. There's uh, in one hour, there's 60 minutes. And notice the hours are in opposite positions, so they divide out. And uh, the zeros here go, uh, 10 goes into 66 times, into 188 times, or excuse me, 18 times. And 6 goes into 18, 3, so it looks like we get 3 miles in the numerator and minutes in the denominator. So finally, for number 12, the question is, do you multiply, uh, find the number of seconds in a week by multiplying 7 by 24 by 60 by 60? Well, let's find out. We use unit multipliers, dimensional analysis, and dimensional analysis. And let's see, how many days in a week? There's 7 days, I'll just put D in a week, WK, and uh, how many hours in a day? Let's see, there's 24 hours in a day, D. And then how many uh, minutes in an hour? That's 60 minutes in an hour. And now we'll go to seconds, and there's 60 seconds in a minute. Now let's see what divides out. The minutes divide out, the hours divide out, the days divide out, the weeks divide out. And what we have, I'll put it down here, is 1 times 7 is 7 times 24 times 60 times 60. And that's going to be seconds, isn't it? And so they were, they were, they were right. Uh, you multiply 7 times 24 times 60 times 60, and we're done.